Hutemaki is a global advanced uh, manufacturer of sustainable packaging solutions, particularly for, for food, and we operate globally in 36 countries. And uh, our portfolio, our broad portfolio of sustainable packaging is dedicated to basically two channels, the, the food on the go and the food on, on the shelves. So as a global multinational, we owe it to ourselves to make sure that we also work with those who adhere to the same sustainability ambitions or targets. Hutamaki has been in South Africa for over 20 years. We've made a number of significant investments, the latest of which was the acquisition of a flexibles business in South Africa. We also have just approved a new molded fibre facility adjacent to the flexibles business in Durban in South Africa. What we believe at Utemaki is to protecting food, people and the planet while enabling well-being and convenience for billions of people around the world. And our purpose, our belief is founded on very strong core values which are summarized in three words, care, dare and deliver. It's really important that we support the UN SDGs right now. We have a burning platform. We all know that we have to change the, thing, the way we do things. So the way we look at it at Hutamaki is doing it in a stepway approach. So our 2030 targets, we hope to reach them before 2030, but we know we have to reach them by 2030. Packaging has a tremendous impact. First of all, when you consider the population in the world and the fact that the population is growing so fast, we need to make food available everywhere in the world. Second, it's not enough to make it available, we need to make it safe. And the, the pandemic is there to remind us about the importance of hygiene. So packaging has a tremendous value in terms of hygiene and protecting the food safety. But the biggest impact on the environment from the food systems is actually the food that is wasted. 30% of the food is wasted in the, in the world. We support innovation by partnering up with startups. So in one case, for example, we partnered up with River Recycle, which is a Finnish clean startup. They've developed the technology that we need, or that is needed, to do waste collection. Um, that's now being shipped over from Finland to India, and we're running the pilot in India on the River Miti. And essentially it's very simple. It's about collecting the waste and making sure that it doesn't go into the ocean, working with municipalities to set it up, which is what we've done in India, learning from it, and then seeing if we can scale it up for other, uh, other places and other locations. Our 2030 strategy is to move to renewable energy sources. So like in this business unit, we are installing now solar panels. And by end of, probably end of this month, we should have 25% of our electricity moved from grid to the solar panels. What we're doing at the moment is we're doing some trials with a number of customers, particularly around paper cups, so that we can actually convert paper cups to egg cartons. So Hutamaki is making the flexible packaging sustainable by making it recyclable. So under our blue loop approach, we are actually selecting the structures or the films with no compromise in protective properties, but those films are 100% recyclable, thanks to the monostructures which we are using nowadays. Hutamaki has partnered with WasteAid, a UK-based management charity, with a view to passing on information to local communities in South Africa about the benefits of a circular economy. The circular economy, in very simple terms, is aimed at having products being manufactured and getting to the end of their lives and then being recycled and starting new lives again. A really important element of this is making sure that our products are not just recyclable, but that they're actually recycled. And I believe that as Hutamaku, we have a responsibility for this. It's not good enough just to say, here's the product, it's recyclable, off, you go with it. We have to work with others across the industry and the value chain to really make sure that we have set up, whether it's the incentives uh, for customers or consumers, to the infrastructure, to the legislation that enables us to make sure that the products are truly recyclable and recycled, and we have a circular economy. A circular future looks like a future where we're material positive. So we choose the right material for the right situation, where it's environmentally viable and we can actually scale it up in a way that makes a difference. Our role as an industry is to always look forward and look forward to what's happening in the world today, what is likely to happen tomorrow, and, and try to anticipate. 